The Islamic Jihad Movement in the Gaza Strip organized Thursday morning a festival at the Dolphin Events Hall in Western Gaza City in commemoration of the Palestinian Prisoners' Day with wide participation of citizens, leaders of the Palestinian national factions and journalists. Islamic Jihad member and former prisoner Yasser Salah reiterated his movement support for the prisoners until the release of the last Palestinian detainee in the Israeli jails. This festival is held in commemoration of the Palestinian Prisoner Day. We took this opportunity to name Lina al Jarbuni, the Palestinian female who has been held the longest in Israeli jails, as the Palestinian Woman of the Year. We reiterate our support to our hero prisoners. We confirm this issue is our top priority. We're in bad need of a national strategy supported by a political decision to continue our path to free prisoners under Israeli detention. In 1974, the Palestinian National Council, the PLO's highest authority, declared April 17th a day of solidarity with Palestinian political prisoners in Israeli jails in support of their struggle for freedom. The day also glorifies the first prisoners exchange deal between the Palestinians and the Israelis and the release of the first Palestinian detainee in Israeli jails, Mohammed Bakr Hijazi, on the 28th of February 1971. According to the Palestinian rights group Ad Damir, 670 out of the 7,000 Palestinian prisoners held in Israel are under administrative detention, a practice which allows for indefinite detention without a trail. Many detainees have gone on hunger strike to protest this practice, which is strongly criticized by the international community. Israel claims that administrative detention is essential in preventing Palestinian attacks against its army forces and securing intelligence evidence. Nur Harazin, Telesu TV, Gaza.